Let me quickly give you now a list of the skills that changed my life forever. Developing a new philosophy that I could do it. In my network marketing experience now led me to developing new skills. Right, I knew how to milk cows, but it didn't pay well. Here's the first skill I learned that changed my life. Getting a customer. Making a sale. And of course, sales for you is easy, right? Because it's not technical, right? The technical is all taken care of. You simply represent your product. If you share a unique product, talk about its merits, persuade someone that it's the best, they agree to buy, that's the simple art of sales. But in your business, here's what it's more like, sharing. Because using the product yourself, gathering some testimonials, you simply share that. So we're not talking like high-powered spacecraft technical skills here. It's simply sharing something you've discovered with someone else and doing it well enough to where they agree they would like to participate. Now here's what happened when I learned sales. It multiplied my income by five. Now it didn't take that much because I wasn't doing that well in farm country, but it did multiply my income by five, sales getting customers, laying that incredible foundation for an entrepreneurial career. So now I've got two skills, milking cows and making sales. Here's the next one I learned that changed me forever, and that's recruiting, introducing the business opportunity to new people, learning how to give a good invitation, learning how to give two kinds of presentation, formal and informal. And the third part of recruiting, of course, is following up. Once you start a new life, now you've got to take care of it, like a new mother would take care of her baby. You don't start a new life and abandon it. You start a new life and nourish it like a mother and protect it like a father. You've got to be both mother and father to a new person. Nourishment, ideas like a mother. Protection, help defend your new life against the encroachment of outside voices that would try to talk them out of it. So you've got to be mother and father in this art of recruiting. We call it being a sponsor. And being a sponsor is like being a bridge, helping somebody from darkness to light, from skeptic to faith, from not knowing to knowing, from no confidence in themselves to starting to gain confidence. You're the bridge that helps people from the shadows to the sunlight. It's one of the most exciting positions to occupy in all of network marketing industry is the bridge, helping people crossing the bridge out from discouragement into recognition. Being this bridge, that's what the recruiting magic is all about. You've got the answers. They've been looking for the answers. You've got the answers. And you help them cross this bridge. You see something in them before they can see it in themselves. You assure them that it's possible to be more than they are, therefore they can earn more than they've got, have more than they possess. This is one of the great arts in the world. And here's what's exciting about this art. It pays big money. Because now you operate a unique philosophy taught first in the Bible. John Kennedy taught it in his inaugural speech. Zig Ziglar's got one of the best ways to put it. And that's the secret to wealth. The secret to wealth and fortune. First taught in the Bible. Because the question was asked, how can we achieve greatness, great wealth, great power, great influence, great recognition, great self-esteem? How can we achieve greatness? The master teacher was asked. And here was his formula for achieving personal greatness. He said, find a way to serve the many. For service to many leads to greatness. For those that are interested. Some people aren't interested, but for those that are. Service to many leads to greatness. Someone says, well, best I can do is just take care of myself, which is okay, but it doesn't lead to greatness. Someone says, I got enough bills of my own, I can't worry about someone else's bills. That's okay, but it doesn't lead to greatness. Greatness is helping people pay their bills. You forget about yours. Because if you help enough people pay theirs, yours disappear. Help people with problems, your problems disappear. The key to greatness, the master teacher taught, is finding a way. Now, a lot of people would like to serve many people, but they don't have a way. And what's exciting about you and your business is you've now got the way. Whether you use it or not, it's up to you. Whether you cash it in or not, is up to you. Whether you make a fortune or just a little, that's all up to you. Each person's 
ambition. It's called the same marketing, the same product. These products are the same for everybody here. The marketing system is the same. The difference is each person's philosophy and each person's individual ambition. But whatever your ambitions are, now you've got the ways and means. And here's what you've got the ways and means to do. Serve as many people as you would like. Now, here's what's exciting about recruiting. With what you're involved in here, you can directly and indirectly affect the lives of dozens of people. Some of you are going to directly and indirectly affect the lives of hundreds of people. And some of you, if you wish, can directly and indirectly affect the lives of thousands of people. And the pay is accordingly. If you affect a few, you earn that pay. If you affect the many, you earn that pay. But the secret is found in the Bible. Service to many leads to greatness. Now, John Kennedy said it in his inaugural speech. Here's what he said. Don't ask. Don't we wish that was the current political philosophy? Where is John Kennedy and his philosophy? John Kennedy said, don't ask. That's important if you understand philosophy. He said, don't ask what the people can do for you. Don't ask what the country can do for you. Don't ask what the government can do for you. That's not how you get rich. That's not how you have high self-esteem. That's not how you get trophies to put on the mantle above the fireplace, asking what the people can do for you. Don't ask, he said, what the people can do for you. But ask, what could I do for my country? And the country means the people. What could I do for the people? I want trophies. I want recognition. I want high self-esteem. I would even like, like a chance to make a fortune. John Kennedy says it's easy. Don't ask what the people can do for you, but ask, what could I do for the people? Could I directly and indirectly serve many in my country? And now that you are participating in this program, the answer is yes. Now, Zig probably said it best. Zig's got some great stuff. Zig and I have been good friends for a lot of years. Zig says, money isn't everything, but it ranks right up there with oxygen. <laughs> Zig, you're right. Zig says, my dentist told me, Zig, only floss the teeth you want to keep. You know, forget the rest. But here, Zig is famous for this now. This is one of Zig's philosophies, and it goes right along with the other two, the Bible and John Kennedy. Here's what Zig says. If you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. If you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. Now, wanting everything you want, we call that self-interest. But it's, it, it's okay to have self-interest if you do it in a positive way. By helping enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. Now, you can accomplish all that by learning this next skill called recruiting. And I learned it, and it made me fortunes. So now I've got three skills, milking cows, making sales, and recruiting.